Today the Maxis ESC is back at Blue Mountain and I'm racing the Enduro in the 15 and under boys category. Um, I'm battling it out with a bunch of other kids and in the Maxis ESC it's really competitive so let's see how I do. Alright, stage one. Stage one, as you'll see, it's one of the longer stages at Blue Mountain and it's the one in yellow here and it goes all the way down the mountain really pedally and it's pretty long. A key point to the stage became not getting too tired and not using all your energy at the beginning because this is a pretty long stage at seven minutes. Taking this corner was important because it was so sharp and flat. I made sure to downshift early because you have to quickly get on the pedals here. And I think I was able to save some time there. At this point in the stage, it just turns into flat corners after flat corner. So just dropping the outside foot and coasting around was the key to success. Doing good. What you doing, Juan? Uh, I did all right. The first turn. Yeah. For stage two, it was one of Blue Mountain's cross-country trails, and the transfer was pretty steep, so I decided to walk. You can see here, and it was really flat, which made it interesting, but also really difficult. All right. The bike I'm riding is a 2016 Giant Rain. It has 160 millimeters of travel front and rear, and I think it was a decent choice for this event. Stage two consisted of a lot of flat corners like this one here, and just a lot of pedally bits because it only had about 200 feet of vertical as it was one of the cross-country trails at Blue Mountain. At the end of each stage, I'm putting the time and how I did in that stage. That second place means I had the second best time in that stage. Stage 3 consisted of El Camino, which is a blue jump trail, and Miles of Smiles, which is a black tech trail. Coming into Miles of Smiles here, there are two main points to this stage. This rock garden coming up which I found if you just hit it with some speed, you could just monster truck over and keep your speed going. The other part here is this loam downhill, which had a really flat and tight corner at the end, which you had to be prepared for. Yeah. Stage 4 starts immediately into Trunkleberry, which is a very technical and pretty flat overall trail. Line choice is key, as maintaining your speed is difficult.
After that, the stage continues along blue flow trails until the end. I was able to save some time here by breaking early and cutting the corners on the inside. All right, good job! I think I did good. Stage five is the last stage, but it's also the shortest. It consists of a black tech trail called Shoots and Ladders and a blue tech trail called Wild Turkey. This rock garden here was slow, so keeping your speed was key. At the end of stage 5, I gave it everything I had since it was the only bit of racing I had left. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go, go, go! Overall, I ended up getting second, which I became really excited for. If you want to see the full results though, I'll leave a link in the description.